Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, Congressman Kennedy, this is a scathing <laughs> indictment of insurance practices across this country. You've got data here that says that behavioral care and addiction care is four to six times more likely to be provided out of network than for other medical or surgical care. You've got 24 states where the reimbursement disparity between addiction and mental health care is 30 to 70 percent uh, higher than for uh, medical and surgical care. Um, is there any way to explain this uh, other than um, companies being in gross violation of the parity law? Parity is not just about the statement of benefits, right? Parity is also about how you are administering the benefits. And I'm happy to say, Senator, um, it's, it's really encouraging to know that Secretary Acosta, whose Department of Labor oversees ERISA plans, who could do so much to help change this current uh, disregard by insurance plans of their obligations under the federal parity law, he's looking for more resources to do it. I was just with him last week in his office, and he asked for those resources. He said, I cannot do these letters, which is basically his uh, staff being able to flag these insurers for where they're disregarding the parity law uh, the way I can and others because I don't have the resources to do it. In addition to that, he asked for actually enforcement authority, if you can imagine, the Secretary of Labor, to sue insurance companies. I I'm not kidding you. This is coming out of uh, Republican administration. It was part of our uh, strong recommendations in the president's uh, report that, that he get those authorities. Because, frankly, if, if you don't enforce parity, the taxpayer ends up picking up the pieces in the criminal justice system, as I said, in the Medicaid system. These are not small violations. These are giant, <laughs> gaping violations of the parity law. And there's no way to explain these differences in reimbursement rates, these differences in network uh, quality, uh, other than uh, the discriminatory treatment of these patients. So let me talk to you, Dr. McCants-Katz, about the powers that you have been granted. So in the 21st Century Cures Act, on a bipartisan basis, we gave the Department of Labor and the Department of Health and Human Services new authority on the issue of non-quantitative treatment limitations. Uh, these are ways in which insurance companies uh, use reimbursement rates, use network um, uh, registration, uh, use prior authorizations to shut down addiction and mental health care. So Dr. McCants-Katz, you were given the ability to issue guidance to insurance companies to give them more clarity on when they are violating parity and not violating parity on this issue of non-quantitative treatment limitations. You were given the authority to issue a report um, listing all of the results of closed investigations and the results with respect to parity uh, violations. And you were given new audit authority uh, to go and audit insurance companies where there were five or more reported complaints of parity violations. Um, have you used any of those three authorities? Have you issued the guidance? Have you issued the report on investigations? Have you conducted any audits? Um, what I can tell you that I know is that we have put in place a, a portal where people can make complaints, where the Department of Labor does investigate, as does CMS, depending on on what type of uh, company was it was the potential violator, and uh, we also at SAMHSA has done um, Parity Policy Academies times two with the states, and we are working on uh, guidance to individuals about their rights, as well as um, uh, making a toolkit available to insurance regulators within states so that they can enforce parity rules. Uh, you and I have talked about this a number of times. I've talked to the Secretary of Labor. I've talked to our new nominee to HHS. Everyone tells me that they are serious about taking on this issue of mental health and addiction parity. Everybody tells me that they want to use the new authorities that Republicans and Democrats agreed were necessary in the 21st Century Cures Act. For the record, HHS and Labor have not issued that guidance. They have not issued a report on investigations, and they have not conducted any audits of insurance companies. 
insurance companies are clearly in violation of the parity law. That's what this report says. I'm glad that you've opened up this portal because I'm sure you will get more than five complaints uh, on an individual insurance company. But, but I would beg you and I would beg the Department of Labor, use the authority you have to make sure that people suffering from addiction and mental illness are treated the same as people who have cancer diagnosis um, and orthopedic diagnoses. Um, you can do it and you have the authority under existing law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you.